I tried to do a video response earlier. I got all philosophical, so this time I'm just gonna say thank you for your video reply, and um, I'm gonna make it sure I got to get philosophical again because I got deep and I spoke for the whole ten minutes. Um, when people ask the question why we argue and fight each other, which races and which groups, we have to turn to one person, one group of people, the power elite. Um, poor people don't have a problem with each other. I mean, you know, they're shit. This is a whole different damn video. I I don't. Man, okay, look. This is what I said in the first video. The problem we have in America is this. In certain regions in America, the stereotypes about white people are absolutely true. The stereotypes about black people are absolutely true. In certain different pockets in our country, the stereotypes that we are so afraid to admit are absolutely unequivocally without denial the absolute possible truth white people act this way in this region of America and black people act this way in these peach parts of America and Mexican people act this way these stereotypes in pockets of our country are true Air, there are let me slow down there is truth to almost everything you hear about the opposite race and there is no opposite race you see what I'm saying in other words these differences are brought up to us to keep us from being a united species as a human being we are so fractious like a mirror see what I'm saying a mirror casts many reflections of the same image human beings are no more than a mirror and we are shattered across this entire plateau we call earth and the people that are controlling us are controlling us through our differences and if we all look the same if we all just say we all had one skin color and it was red every single person is red then the next thing the next control issue would be maybe color of eyes okay now they're controlling us by our color of eyes or length of hair or color of hair or height or width because we are so what's the word insecure in ourselves that we want to push what we think is the best about ourselves on other people and when we do that we collide and I'm not talking about race now I'm talking about every single individual why we are divided as a species you don't see ducks flying south and only leaving certain ducks behind they might all fly you see what I'm saying we as a species have begun to divide ourselves what is there only the strong shall survive there's no such thing as Darwinism we are one unit we are only strong when we are one we haven't been one species since the last time the earth shifted we are so fractured and our needs and wants and we're better and we're worse and these people and those people we're so fractured in our many skill belief system what's the first thing they say believe in yourself what's the second thing they say pray to God have you ever thought that maybe God lives within everybody and if we treated ourselves with some kind of self-respect because since we're one person we're one entity. If we treated ourselves with self-respect, we'd actually feel the power of God and we'd have respect for each other. And I wouldn't give a damn what color shoes you have on, what color your eyes are, how, how tall you are, or how blonde your hair is. None of that shit would ever fucking matter if we looked beyond what a person looked like. But we can't. We're being divided for a reason. And that's to control us. 
us, the people, the human people from coast to coast, continent to continent, are in some control pattern and we don't know how to get out because we can't unite long enough to respect each other, to get beyond the chains that bind us. And I'm getting philosophical again. And all you're doing is talking about a bunch of kids getting massacred by a bunch of savage bastards. And then, in the last video I did that YouTube would not upload, I mentioned the young black girl who was held captive as a sex slave as the two white girls forced her to have sex with, with the three white guys and put cigarettes out on her and cut her hair off and burned her and did all kind of shit. That didn't make the news. But, you know, the fact that we have become sick enough to, to, to break in somebody's house and to kill each other, and it's pitiful. Regardless of what color you are or who you're attacking, it's bad. It's bad mojo for anybody. You know, if you're defending your life, then fine. You defend your life with honor, respect, and with your life. If you just trying to do crime and fuck up and destroy and death and mayhem, regardless of what color you are, you deserve the consequences that begot the actions in which you demand to commit. Because you got to do it. You demand yourself to go out and do dirt. You deserve to pay the price. But nobody deserves to die. Nobody deserves to be tortured. Nobody deserves to be tied up and beaten, sodomized, and raped. Regardless of what color, shape, or who you are. The fact of the matter is that we as a people have become so twisted and self-absorbed with what we believe that we need or how much better we can make the world that only our people did what I said do and we forgot to help each other in this way we push our own personal agendas and nobody's more important than ourselves that greediness and that blindness to freedom and reality is what got us captured aggression drama pain and stress violence violence is a drug now people get high off violence so from one human being to another from one man to another man from a black man to a white man from a person to a person. Thank you. Period. But do this one thing. When you see somebody doing dumb shit. If it's one of your black friends saying something stupid about one of your Mexican friends. If it's one of your white friends saying something dumb about one of your black friends. Vice versa. If you saying something stupid about somebody black. Catch yourself. Show yourself a bit of respect. Because you know what they say. You only get what you give. What goes down comes round. You know, these little sayings and, and karma and all that. These things add up. And we as a people have fallen so far off the path. That no matter how many sayings we can make up and no matter how many good deeds we can push forward, there's going to be somebody saying, man, you fucking black. What the fuck you helping these goddamn white people for? And somebody going to say to you, God damn it, man. Why are you helping these niggers? They don't have nothing to do with us. We got to remember when those questions are asked of us, we need to tell these motherfuckers one thing. I'm not helping this white man. I'm helping myself. I'm not helping this nigga. I'm helping myself. I'm not helping him. I'm helping me. And as long as I can help me, you've been too. Ow. Damn, knees going out. Too old for this. <laughs>